Yeah, well, um, you know, after the season ended, uh, me and um, me and my agent started talking, and you know, different situations, different scenarios, and we felt that uh, at this time, the one-year deal, um, I think, was was the way we wanted to go. And um, you know, you hear so many things of uh, things that I apparently said or I apparently did, and a lot of it is, uh, you know frustrating to read some things that, that I didn't even know I did or, you know, that I, I didn't do, didn't say, but, um, at this time, the one-year deal, um, the qualifying offer was the way we wanted to go. Um, you know, there's never a doubt of holding out or forcing anything. Um, you know, you read stuff that, you know, he wants out of Winnipeg. If I wanted out of Winnipeg, I would have asked for a trade. I didn't ask for a trade. Um, I, there's no doubt in my mind, I was going to show up to camp, uh, you know, once we figured out the one-year deal was the way to go, we were just waiting for the qualifying offer and then waiting for that. And, um, you know, then we signed that. And now I'm, I'm going to camp and excited to meet everybody, the new coaching staff, the new players, um, you know, talk to the coach, um, you know, Saturday or Sunday. And I'm just uh, really excited to get it going this year. Frustrating sometimes to read them, but, you know, I saw a thing. It's like, you know, I went to the draft thinking that I was going to get traded. I went to the draft because I live 15 minutes from the arena. I'm a fan of hockey. Um, you know, my bank invited me. They had a box with food and dinner. And, um, you know, it's a Thursday night. It's an entertaining night. I mean, I'm a fan of hockey. I, I used to go to drafts when I was a kid. Um, you know, I spent half the night with my dad. Then he spent half the night uh, with the, the organization. You know, if, if, uh, if I was invited to go with the Jets, I would have gone with them. But, you know, I got invited by my bank. So I, I went to the bank. Um, you know, you hear stuff that he, I wanted out of Winnipeg. If I wanted out, like I said, I would have asked for a trade. I didn't ask for a trade, not for one second. It didn't cross my mind for a second to ask for a trade. Um, so you just see these things. And, you know, nowadays with, with, with social media, um, it goes so fast. Articles come out every second. And, you know, some of them are 99% wrong. And, you know, you still read and you still wonder if it's true. So there's been a lot, a lot, a lot of, of uh speculation so now it's I'm, I'm finally happy that you know you guys get to hear it from me from from the source uh the man himself yeah no i understand what you're saying but i'm pretty sure you've at some point changed your mind or not been sure about something in your life and who knows a year later maybe six months later maybe 30 minutes later you change your mind or you've you've thought of something different or you've thought of a different idea um Look, I don't even know what I'm eating tonight for dinner. I don't know what I'm going to do in two years. I don't know what I'm going to do in six years. I don't know what I'm going to do in, in six months. I am not a type of person to, I, I, I have, I, I, I'm somebody that thinks, you know, and I think there's, there's a bunch of different opinions and there's a bunch of different ways of thinking. Um, I'm not somebody that has one idea and I set on it for the next six years. Um, everybody's changed their mind. Everybody's had different ideas. Everybody's at some point liked something and then maybe later they realize that no, it's just human nature to, to change your mind sometimes. That's why I get you guys have articles to write of these questions, but I know sometimes questions aren't as easy. The answers to these questions aren't as easy as just yes or no. No, I think, I think the group is a great group of guys. I think the organization's a great organization. I mean, since I've been there, I've been treated with nothing but respect. Um, you know, my first year there was, for my standards, awful. I, I, you know, and they didn't give up on me. They didn't make me feel like I was a disappointment. You know, they didn't make me feel like anything bad. They supported me. Um, you know, they showed confidence in me, even though I, I, I didn't deliver the first season. Um, and then last year, I, I thought I improved, and um, I think I can improve again. So, you know, I, I don't, I don't see it like that. I just think that you know, this next deal might be for the rest of my career. I might retire um, with this. Um, you know, I just turned 24 years old. I look at myself from two, three, four years ago, and I'm a completely different person. Um, you know, it's a major decision, and I, I want to be sure to make the right one. Um, and, you know, it has nothing to do with 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 stuff like that. It's sometimes, you know, you make a decision not because you hate something, you don't like something. Sometimes it's just because you know, you have something else in your, in your, in your mind. Um, but I think the group that we have is, is a great group. I love the guys. Um, you know, I, I, I can't wait to see them. I'm going to go down to Michigan to see some guys, uh, 
this summer and, and skate with a few of them and um, before I show up to camp. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this season.